Ukrainian Special Forces footage released a new video showing troops from the 251st Battalion Ukrainian Special Forces destroying dozens of Russian Wagner troops engaged in close combat in the Bakhmut area. The pictures show the Russian Wagner troops who wanted to overrun the Ukrainian Special Forces being destroyed at close range. In that battle, some of the Russian Wagner troops fled to other positions to attack the Ukrainian Special Forces, but this was thwarted by the Ukrainian Special Forces artillery. Other Russian troops also hid under the bridge. Ukrainian Special Forces also attacked the positions of the Russian Wagner troops who were hiding. Under the bridge, there are several surviving Russian Wagner troops who finally surrendered. At the same time, Ukrainian Marines destroyed four Russian tanks using Javelin missiles. A Javelin missile fired by Ukraine's 36th Marine Brigade destroys four Russian tanks and armored vehicles in this video. Drone video shows a Russian column advancing towards Ukrainian Marines in the Bakhmut area. Successively, U.S. supplied Javelin missiles hit and destroyed three tanks and the Russian Wagner Infantry fighting vehicle. On the other hand, drone video from the 17th Tank Brigade of Ukraine shows fighting in the Donetsk region. A Ukrainian Special Forces tank advanced towards a Russian Wagner troop position before slowing to open fire. Russian troops stationed near a series of ruined buildings. The images show Ukrainian Special Forces tanks opening fire on Russian Wagner troops hiding beside collapsed buildings. Offensive actions by the Russian Wagner troops in the Donetsk region have been ongoing for nine months, including Bakhmut and Avdiivka. Such a large-scale and long-lasting offensive operation required a lot of manpower from the Russian troops, and it is endless. In addition, Ukrainian Defense Force aircraft have launched eight sorties against Russian Wagner forces in recent days. According to Ukrainform, the general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine said this in the update. Throughout the day, Ukrainian Defense Force aircraft carried out eight raids on Russian troops' military personnel and equipment concentration areas. A Russian Mi-24 helicopter and six unmanned aerial vehicles of various types were also shot down. Missile troops and artillery units attacked areas of concentration of Russian manpower, weapons and military equipment, and ammunition depots. Russian forces carried out 21 airstrikes and 5 missile strikes during the day, including 4 S-300 missiles fired at Kramatorsk. In addition, Russian forces carried out around 30 attacks using multiple rocket launchers on Ukrainian troop positions and civilian infrastructure. The general staff said Russia continues to ignore the laws and customs of war, so the possibility of missile and air strikes against targets across Ukraine remains high. Despite heavy losses in equipment and manpower, Russia has not given up waging a war of aggression. They continue to focus their main efforts on conducting offensive operations in the Lyman, Bakhmut, Avdiivka, and Marinka sectors, with over 20 Russian troop attacks repelled today. The general staff noted that Russian troops continue to strengthen the counterintelligence regime in the temporarily occupied areas. The number of roadblocks and patrols increased in Starobilsk, Luhansk region and around the city. 
The situation is somewhat similar in the city of Tokmak, Zaporizhia region. Fearing the leakage of information about the location of units, the occupier started to restrict local taxi drivers from using certain routes. Russia faces relentless military losses on Ukrainian soil. Approximately 178,820 aggressor troops destroyed, 3,833 attacking air targets shot down, thousands of tanks, armored vehicles, and trucks destroyed by Ukrainian defenders. Чётко! Блядь, ты мать, вот как по-моему! 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 Блядь,